All right, so the theory is, basically, <laughs> one moon has to control the thieves and the knights. Well, <laughs> are you stroking my scalp? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, one moon has to control the seas and the nights 24 7, right? all over the world, like all the seas and everything. And it's, it's not fair. Like, <laughs> that one moon should not do all the work, so our theory is that. <laughs> <laughs> are you literally tapping my ass? <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Right, so we figured that the moon and the stars, they're working together in some sort of like planetary life. Quite aroused. Right? So I think that the, the moon and the stars like swap places in shifts, like, I don't know how not they work it out, they're the planet. They're yeah, fucking bland. And then, yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> He's actually like slowly up. <laughs> okay, actually, like, so yeah, we figured that. The moon doesn't just stay there. When the moon goes down, what comes up the next day is a different star altogether. Is your mum? The moon's probably like in the staff restaurant somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> having a sausage <laughs> <laughs> <Staff restaurant. laughs> roll. Having, having a, a few bites on a crafty fag, you know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening. <laughs>